Welcome back guys to my channel. If you are new, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video and also do click on the notification bell so that you're notified every time when I upload a new video. So a lot of people are calling Sizo Lomo a bully and also they stated that he also bullied Unati until she got fired. Uh, in case you missed it, Sizo Lomo and Vusi Tembogwayo were fighting. They've been having their Twitter war. Um, not physically, but they've been fighting for a number of years and this is due to the fact that Sizo accused over September Gwai of stealing his intellectual property. So the beef actually started in 2017 when Lomo shared his insight on the taxi industry and how taxi owners make money. And then not long after, Vusi Tembewayo went on a Facebook Live and allegedly presented the whole idea as his own theory. So ever since, uh, Sizwe has been throwing jabs at Uvusi and it's been like a back and forth squabble from 2017. And people who, you know, recently started following Sizwe didn't really understand what was going on between the two. And then recently, Recently, Sizo decided to bring back the beef and Vusi shared a post where he said the following. He said, if people with real money ever decided to actually flex their money, the internet would lose its mind. Some of us are too focused on the impact of our work, teaching new business leaders across Africa how to scale their businesses and building generational wealth. And then Sizo had decided to respond by tagging Uvusi on a post that he shared a couple of years ago where he was trying to flex. Basically, he tried flexing with a watch, with a limited edition watch, and it didn't go well because people that are watch fanatics actually ended up commenting and stated that the watch is actually fake and that it's not real. And they said a couple of things. And then to be even more spicier, he decided to share uh, some conversations with people that he knows that were telling him to lay off Uvusi because he doesn't seem to be, do to be doing well. And then he said the following, he said, uh, the text said, I don't care for him, but you're bullying him now. And then he said, lol, okay, I lay off him, I promise. And now the question is, why are you sharing this? That people are speculating Ugo to Uvusi is not doing well emotionally. He didn't look happy. So the other text that I found very suspicious, it said, says, morning come on man let that nigga go uh says that dude is really going through a, a lot bro and then he laughed it off and then he said that fool i know i've been driving past his crib a lot he's not looking so happy but being strong and showing face is part of his job please sis, set him free bro so the problem is why are you busy looking at whether people are happy or not why but i'm assuming that the the reason that he's saying maybe Vusi is not happy, in case you missed it, uh, Vusi Tembogoya's uh, marriage or divorce uh, was finalized around March. Ne? Um, he was his ex-wife was accusing him of domestic abuse and she stated that Vusi dragged her down the stairs and slapped her and she had bruises to show. But Vusi ended up winning the case because of the lack of substantial evidence and also the fact that she couldn't recollect what exactly happened. Her story kept changing. So um, Vusi ended up winning the case. So the issue now, um, I'm assuming that Vusi might be having maybe, might be struggling through the divorce. Who knows? Or it could be, I really don't know. That's the only thing that I can think of that could be affecting him emotionally since the friend is passing by Vusi Tembogai's house and speculating that he's not doing well. But yeah, Vusi ended up commenting about this whole thing that oh, Sizu is doing. Please listen to the video and then I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. If you had something to say to me that you felt you needed to say to me, if you felt I disrespected you in any way or I used any of your ideas in any way, you and I both know that as a man, you could have handled that a different way. You could have come to me and said, my guy, what's going on here and why are you using my stuff? So the fact that you attacked me on Twitter lets me know this was never about me. It was never about your ideas. It was simply about you trying to act like a little girl and I'm not sure for what reason. Second, you don't have a monopoly on ideas, theory, or thoughts. I was running businesses when I was 25 years old. When you were still reporting to Canton Pillay at YFM and spinning discs, I was running a 400 million rand P&L business at Metro Cash and Carry. You can Google that because that's a fact. If you had something to say to me that you felt... You so because uh, Sizo is the one that initiated or brought back this whole war that he has with Uvusi Tembogayo, people started reminding Sizo that don't forget what you also did the same thing to Unati. Even though Unati technically lied about what happened uh, between herself and Sizo, remember they 
had a bit of a squabble. Sizoe commented in regards to uh, the failure of Unati's marriage and Unati laughed it off. This was uh, a comment that Sizoe made on air and Unati laughed it off. So I'm assuming Sizoe thought all is well, only to find that Unati didn't really like that comment and they had a bit of a disagreement, which is normal in the workplace, but they had a bit of a disagreement and then Unati went and filed a complaint of harassment uh, against Tusizwe. And then Sizwe came through with evidence that he really didn't do anything to Unati, but still, uh, he didn't let things go. He doesn't know how to let things go, Usizwe. He will remind people constantly of what they did wrong. And they felt as though Sizwe is bullying U Unati is bullying Uvusi Tembuga the same way he bullied U Unati. And the sad part is that it led to U Unati being dismissed from work. She got fired and the there's been an ongoing case. I don't think they've settled uh, the whole thing. But yeah, do let us know what you think on the comment section regarding Uvusi Tembuga, your uh, firing shots at Usizwe. Uh, do you feel like Usizwe is a bully? And also, what is your take on Uvusi Tembuga, your stealing e idea Gasizwe regarding the tech industry or his comment but i really don't know um i feel like people there are people that think alike both sizwe and um uvusi tembagayo are business minded and are entrepreneurs the only difference is that um people are claiming or speculating that usizwe got where he is because of his grandfather's money sizwe does come from money but he also clarified that and said that he didn't get a cent from his grandfather yes he did go to good schools and comes from a well-off family and that did contribute to his success to some extent but not financially not in a monetary value uh but yeah let us know what you think and oh Vosi Tembogayo obviously is a self-made businessman or millionaire now but yeah let us know what you think on the comment section regarding this whole ordeal regarding this whole squabble but yeah do not forget to like comment share and subscribe thank you